Pottery Babe. Today we're gonna make a super easy lentil soup. It comes together in less than an hour, including chopping the veggies. And uh, you probably have everything already. So we have three celery, sorry, three carrot and an onion, a bay leaf, half a cup of little pasta, two tablespoons of garlic, a tablespoon of dried Italian seasoning, which is like oregano, thyme, rosemary, parsley, two cups of lentils, just the brown ones, um, two cups is a pound, by the way, and then half a pound of salami. This is actually leftover grilled hot dogs from dinner last night. You could use salami, you could use bratwurst, you could use Polish sausage, kielbasa, whatever you have, or leave it out altogether. It just adds a little bit of, hmm, but it's not necessary. Uh, if you want, and then we're going to put in two quarts of water. Remember, I like a thick soup, so it might need a little bit more water. You could also throw in a handful of kale or spinach, just makes it really yummy, or a can of tomatoes. So, I've got my pan heating up over medium. We're going to put in about a quarter cup of oil. See, that's nice and hot already. And then our mirepoix, the carrot, celery, and onion. In they go. That happy noise. The oil's hot. Everything's sizzling and delightful. Get that off in. We're going to season it up right away with some nice kosher salt. And of course, our few cracks of black pepper from our trusty pepper. And then we'll give it a stir. You can cook this part however long you like. I'm just going to get it going. If you want to caramelize those onions and add a little bit of deeper flavor, you're more than welcome to. I just want to get it going. Um, and they'll all cook with the lentils. Because we're kind of hungry right now. So that's in. Now we're going to add the garlic and the dried herbs. We're going to let those go in and then just going to saute it up and let it cook until the garlic is fragrant, which will be just about a minute. This one's super easy. If you like a little bit um, more depth of flavor, you could do beef broth or chicken broth or vegetable broth instead of the water. And also add a couple chili flakes um, and change up the seasons. So that's go in. The garlic smells good. Now we're going to add in the lentils. As I said, they were supposed to two cups or one pound. And the leftover hot dog or salami or meat or not meat of your choice. I have done it with the, um, the vegan chorizo before. It's really good. So we have the hot dogs. So let's use the hot dogs. We're just going to mix it all together. Super simple. And then we're going to add two quarts of water. And the bait. The soup is going to cook for about 20 minutes till the lentils are almost done. It's going to come up to a boil and then we'll it to a simmer. Let it cook for 20 minutes till the lentils are almost done. And then we'll throw in our pasta and cook it for another 10 minutes. We'll season it. We'll love it. I'm Emily Cutchins Adler. My soup's gonna boil for 20 minutes. Pick up 20 minutes and we'll be right back. Hey, Emily Cutchins Adler, the buttery babe, checking on my lentil soup. Come on in. So the lentils have been simmering for 20 minutes. They're just about done. Now is a perfect opportunity to add our half a cup of tiny pasta. I like ditalini, because it's fun to say. You could use little shells, you could use orzo, you could use nothing, your choice. This is gonna simmer away for another 10 minutes and then it'll be good to go. If you like your soup a little soupier, feel free to add a touch more water. I think I'm gonna do that. I do enjoy a thick soup, but it should still have some broth. And that's gonna cook for another 10 minutes. We'll see you then. Hey, I'm Lake Hutchins Adler, the buttery babe. Time for the big reveal on my lentil soup, a little piece of hot dog, and some ditalini pasta. I'm gonna move the pot a little closer so camera girl can get a good look. Oh, so steamy, so full of veggies and lentils and cute little pasta. And you see all that good stuff. And again, you could have thrown in some spinach or some kale. Um, 
more pasta, less pasta, no pasta. It's great. I'm just gonna take a little bit. You can see it in the bowl. You wanted to garnish that with a little bit of olive oil, you could. I don't think it needs it. Everything is in there. Let's just taste a bite and make sure we're on target. Mmm. So good. Again, I'm Emily Hutchins Adler, the Buttery Babe. Please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and of course, my website, www.butterybabe.com.